What's happening, everyone? With Jay Shock Blast here, and check it out. We have Kyle Rayner, one of the most powerful Green Lanterns that has ever been, and a character that has been quite important to the whole uh, Lantern storyline throughout time. Uh, he has possessed the entity Ion on multiple occasions, and uh, he is one of the few people to ever wield all rings in the color spectrum. Uh, in Brightest Day, he became the White Lantern, uh, or after Brightest Day, I should say. Um, and there's not many characters that have actually been able to do that. And uh, yeah, he's uh, it's pretty surprising that he hasn't truly been in a LEGO game. Yes, he was technically in the game as the White Lantern, but uh, I don't know. They, like, they didn't use his name, which is kind of weird. I, I guess they could have just done, you know, Kyle Rayner, White Lantern, but... It is what it is. Now, he's had a number of different costumes. This one is about as close as you can get. His most traditional costume is almost all black with some green striping on the arms and an off-center white, or uh, an off-center Green Lantern logo kind of on his, ch uh, like, above his heart, not necessarily in the middle of his chest. Um, so, I don't know if I did a bit, really good job explaining that, but... Uh, I think you all know, if you're a Kyle Lantern or Kyle Rayner fan, exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, mostly black and white with, with highlights of green, and his Green Lantern costume just a little bit, or Green Lantern logo just a little bit off to the side. There's not really a way to do this in this game. For whatever reason, they did not put any of the Lantern emblems in the emblem section. What I probably would have tried to do is just make a completely white torso and black arms with with green kind of uh, hands and then uh, black legs. I probably would have tried something like that. I don't know if it would have looked any good, but I don't know. Uh, I really, they've gone heavy with Green Lanterns in this game and many others. Uh, obviously in this game we have, you know, Hal Jordan, we have Jon Stewart, we have Badge, we have Jessica Cruz, we have Seven Baz. And I, I agree with all of those. I don't necessarily think that Kyle Rayner should be chosen over any of them, even Badge. I mean, Badge kind of actually makes sense with them having Simon Baz in the game and the time frame that they were probably picking out some of these characters uh, because Badge sort of helped uh, Simon Baz like kind of really figure out his power. So I can understand them not including Kyle Rayner here, but I don't know, man. It just feels weird to not have him like be himself in a game. So. I don't know if it really would have hurt to put one more character in. Of course, it would have been nice to have that differentiated Green Lantern uniform. Obviously, in this case, I did not use uh, Simon Baz or Jon Stewart's uniform or even Hal Jordan's. I'm sorry, I, Simon Baz or Hal Jordan's. I used Jon Stewart's. Uh, he, Kyle Rayner has had this type of a costume before. Even when he did have the upper green torso, lower black, his Green Lantern logo is usually a little bit off-center. Uh, but I think, you know, face-wise, it obviously looks a lot like him. I gave him the black spiky hair. So, and obviously we gave him a Green Lantern ring. So I think it looks pretty close to him. Uh, there are times where he's been depicted as having, um, you know, the just his plain hands with, like, uh, gloves with, like, fingerless <laughs> gloves. Uh, or just no gloves at all. I've also seen him with this type of uniform with white gloves. So I went with the white gloves because I thought it differentiated him just enough. And, uh, yeah, I, I really, I like Kyle Lantern. Or, I can't believe I keep calling him Kyle Lantern. Kyle Rayner. And, uh, I think he's a, a great character. For a lot of people, you know, he is Green Lantern. He was at one point the last Green Lantern. And, you know, if you think about it, he is he is the the Wally West to Hal Jordan, you know? Because Barry Allen died for a while and was gone and disappeared, and Wally West was the Flash. And same thing with Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan, you know, had parallax the parallax entity within him and, and died and, and Kyle Rayner was kind of like the Green Lantern for a while. So he actually even had to like go out and recover Hal Jordan's body and stuff like that. There was actually a point when he was Ion. Actually, I think he even actually took in the Parallax entity 
and uh, absorbed like Hal Jordan's soul or something like that. I don't know. Like I love the lanterns, and, and honestly, I think I follow those storylines the most. Um, but you know, after a while of not hearing stuff, you uh, tend to forget, misremember, you know, containment suits, and whatnot. So the one disappointment, I think they made a lot of huge strides in the customizer, but one area that they definitely missed the boat is the ability to make your own lanterns. Um, I really would have loved it if we didn't just have chess pieces to work with. I mean, yeah, you can change the colors of those those suits, but there's still a Green Lantern logo. So, in the next customizer, you know, obviously this game just came out, but, you know, something just, uh, I guess, some advice, something that I would really love to see if they could do it, you know, later on down the line is, with customizer, let's be able to to change more chess pieces, uh, emblems, and stuff like that. Uh, maybe even find a way to, to like put them in the middle, put them on the side, make them bigger, make them smaller, whatever it may be. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting there. I mean, this is the best customizer they've ever done by far. Um, but there's still room for improvement, especially if you're gonna start getting into putting emblems on the screen uh, or on the, on the uniforms. You know, all the uniforms are single tone in the customizer as well, where you can actually use an emblem. So it's tough. Like it's, you're not gonna make everybody happy. I think there's gotta be some, uh, you know, willingness to, you know, suspend disbelief and understand that this is not always gonna be the perfect representation of a character. You have to stretch it a little bit and I think we did that a little bit here with Kyle Rayner, but I think this is a really good version of Kyle Rayner, and I think a lot of people are really going to like it. Uh, so uh, that is what I did for Kyle Rayner. Uh, would be curious to see what anybody else thinks uh, as far as what they would do. Uh, I think this is pretty good. I'm happy with it. Uh, you also, when you do create a lantern with the ring, they don't get any of the lantern powers. You know, he doesn't throw it out of his little anvil here. He, uh, even when he shoots his laser, you can't, or the bolts, you can't have it come from the actual ring, so. But of course, the ring is oversized, but whatever. It, it is what it is, and I think, I, like I said, I think this is a really cool version of Kyle Rayner. I've been thinking about it and throwing it around for a few days now, and finally decided now is the time. So what do you guys think? Uh, are you a big fan of Kyle Rayner? And would you like to see him officially as a Green Lantern in the next game? We'll see.